Hey guys, welcome back to the Stanley Parable. So today we are going to try to find out uh, even more um, endings of this game. And um, I think we... I'm gonna do... Yeah, I'm just gonna begin. Okay. Okay, so I'm at the boss's his office. And they say if you back out. Can I close the door? Mm. No! No! Let me out! Oh, There should be something here. It's impossible that there's nothing here. I don't understand. Stop! This is not the boss's office, this is the manager's office. I don't get it. Oh! I never could have opened. Oh, wow. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. I've never been here before. Look at this. This is new. Um. Wait, maybe maybe that door I can open this door too. Oh my god! What the hell? I've never been here before. Holy crap! This is great. Oh, I can go down too. If I go up or down, maybe I should just go in. Um. Um. Uh, go up. I know what's going to happen. I've never been here before. This is great. Nice, smooth. Where's this going? I don't even know. Is there an ending to this? Oh, I'm here. I'm back where I came from. Great. This is not the plan for a while. Um, let's go down. Does this do anything? I don't even know. I gotta hope. No, I wanna go down. I wanna go down. Apparently, this is nothing. Okay, this is apparently nothing. So I spend the entire time in the library. Oh, you're killing a panda. That's a business strategy. How is a business strategy to kill a panda? I don't get this. Okay, there should be a way to escape. It said if you back out. Hmm. Well, apparently this is not. I can't open this. I can see that there is an elevator here. And there is a bathroom. Never been. I've tried to open this one before. But they. Why it closing behind me? Oh, maybe I should close the doors. No? Okay, so apparently this is nothing. I feel like there should be something here. It's like, it's yelling at me like, find me and I can't find you. Okay, so this is the staircase, staircase where you can go up Stanley and you can go down. To his boss's office. So, today I'm going down and see what happens. I'm scared. What is this? A but pop. Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. One, two, his boss three, would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence what? in a there is single another moment car here. and no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as uh -huh. Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Like? For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever yeah. he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? 
No, oh, Stanley said to himself. This is all nice. too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Yes. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers but... weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently what the hell? the ground. What? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? Hmm. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Excuse. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? So now the scary. voice was describing <laughs> itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Hmm. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. But Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make mm. the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... What? He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. And? So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be <gasps> over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Well, now? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Oh, Who am I? Who am I? Okay. And everything went black. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon what turn to go call hell? for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she this remembered so the meeting strange. she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. That's it. I'm dead.
again. <laughs> Great. I died again of insanity. So, yeah, great. So that was the other ending that I knew of. Insanity. Training. Um, I still gotta figure the boss thing out, but uh, yeah. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Yeah, so I think next time, unless I find what is in the boss's office, I'm gonna take this door to the right and see what options it gives there and uh, yeah that's it for now thank you so much for watching the Stanley Parable with me DJ Music and I'll see you next time good day goodbye bye, -bye.